Hey guys, um, this is going to be a quick video. Uh, I hadn't seen a video on YouTube like this, so I wanted to share with you a little trick in Cubasis um, on how to transfer your effects, your effects chain from one track to another. <clears throat> Let's say if you're doing vocals and you're doing several different takes of vocals um, and you want to continue the same effects chain uh, as you can see here on audio track three it's a track of a vocal um, and I have I'm using the channel strip the studio EQ and some uh, adverb from audio units and let's see here so there you can see the settings, the compressor settings. That's basically all I'm using the channel strip for. Um, and then the studio EQ. So I want to keep that EQ um, consistent from track to track when I'm making a new track. So we leave that there. And then the adverb. Um, we have the rich plate setting. Um, and you can see the settings there. So I want to transfer the same effects over to the new audio track. Um, we don't even have to create a new audio track. What we're going to do is we're going to come down below the track heads here. We take this away. At the bottom here, you'll see the buttons delete, add, and duplicate. And we're just going to highlight this vocal track. And we're going to hit duplicate. And that automatically switches between the two here. Um, this is the original. This is the duplication. So we don't need any of the vocal track that's on there since we have this one. So highlight your other track and select the data that's on there, hit erase up top, and now we have that track selected and we can go into our audio chain and we can see that the insert effects are there, the channel strip, the studio EQ, and the adverb. Now we go back in to each one and we see that the compression settings are still the same. And then the studio EQ is exactly the same. And then the adverb is exactly the same settings there. And that is the way to transfer your effects chain in Cubasis. Thanks for watching.